Welcome back to Press Guy. I'm the Business Press. And I just recorded on mute. Because I'm a legend. But, I have some key nuggets of information that I can't afford to let go away. So let's just start again, eh? The daily trend is either bullish or it's bearish. I can make money as a bull. I can make money as a bear. But a pig will get slaughtered. And I've been a pig. <laughs> I mean, hey, I've got slaughtered. Why? So I'm only seeing one side of the coin. I'm only playing go long. And where my position is, it's very important to where the trend is. Because the trend can start down here. Okay? We come down, make a low. We don't break that low. But we break the high or resistance. So we've got a resistance. We've got a support. If we break resistance, and retest that. Bullish. Bullish trend. Okay? So if we break resistance and have a pullback, pullback is the key word. Because traders can play the breakout. But we've seen a lot of fake outs in this market. But if it's something as technical as this, everyone's looking at it. Everyone's probably going to play it the same way. We've got a W pattern. The pattern breaks out, we get a retest, it's likely to continue, at least to the target. Okay, we measure the W, measure the pattern, we hit the target. That's one trade. Then we can get a pullback, do it again. We can measure and trade. Okay, but where I've been going wrong is we run into resistance. We've got support. And the support breaks down. Now the trend is over. And the trend is your friend until the end. And we're going long, but we're topping out. We start making lower highs, break the support, pull back to the area of value or the neckline. That's where we should be short. Or at least selling. That's the thing. There's a lot of different ways to play this game. There's a lot of different ways to make money. If I'm going long, then I have to sell in profits. And if I'm going short, then technically I'm betting that the price is going down. And if that's the play I want to play, well then that's fine. Bears make money, bulls make money. But if I'm just going to be a bull, but I still need to know that this is topping out, we've broken down. That's where I get out. Because what just happened, what just happened, was we break, we continue, we continue, we continue. Very fast. Upstairs, down the elevator. Now I can make money going up. Now I can make money going down. So then I need to be able to play that. And not just be like, yeah... Uh, too emotional, too hypey, too stuck on the technology. Because guys, hey, look, this thing's going to take over the world. Everything's going to be tokenized and put on blockchain and we're going to live in the fourth industrial revolution. That's not tomorrow. <laughs> Playing the trend. Got a bearish trend? Short. All right? Or at least take your investment out relative to the top so you can buy it back cheaper. All right? These are all things that are starting to make sense to me. I'm getting good at reading the charts. I need to get better at making the plays. Alright, so that being said. Support. Breaks resistance. We've got an uptrend. Resistance. Breaks support. We've got a downtrend. Alright, it's not hard. Key part is position. Position. Alright. If I'm going to position myself up here, long, that's dangerous. Ah, uh, not reading my indicators properly. And if I'm positioning myself 
mom. I'm going, hey, yeah, look, this is just going to have a pullback, you know. These are the pullbacks. That's the break of structure. That's where I've been going on. We broke structure. We changed the trend. The trend is not my friend, but I'm still bullish and going along. Time frames. Time frames, all right? Not tomorrow. About three to five years. Okay? So now, with that being said, let's go and have a look at some charts. Okay? If you like what I'm about to show you, please smash a like. Okay, welcome to business, Prez, Prezco Productions. All right, first thing I want to show is the Bitcoin dominance. Okay, when this thing goes up and Bitcoin's going down, that's very bearish. But when this thing goes up, a Bitcoin's going up. It's also just bearish for altcoins. But right now, the altcoins are following Bitcoin's every move. Okay, we see the downtrend. See the downtrend. See the downtrend. All right. So Bitcoin dominance is telling us. All right. We've held support. We made a massive impulse. We tagged green. We broke this top, we retested as support. We're now in a bullish trend. So what are we waiting for? We're waiting for it to top out. We're waiting for resistance to break the price down past this neckline and come back down to support. If we get that, then that's great. What we're likely to see then is this bottom form and it pull back to the area of value the reason why I've already got this all drawn is because <laughs> I made a 25 minute video and my microphone was on mute so guys I hope you can hear me this time <laughs> all right so looking at the dominance chart if this is going to top out now and pull back go lower then this bottom is most likely going to hold and we're going to pull back into this area of value, whether it be the trend line, okay? Whether it be the structure, which is no longer support, it's resistance, or the trend line resistance. Either one of those three, the bears will show up, okay? Now, we've tagged red down here we pulled back into the red zone which means we're looking for shorts okay this was our trigger here okay we got smashed we did not have momentum we were oversold we were tag red pulling into the sell zone okay now we're tag red we're going to pull back into the sell zone Now, what are we likely to see when we get there? All right, I can tell you right now, we're not likely to just break out of this trend line and just go massive rocket to the sky. You're probably not going to see that. What we're probably going to see is the bears show up and then the next impulse. It could be a continuation or... The bulls will show up if the bulls show up if buyers show up here sorry about that that would have made so much sense in the last video but you couldn't hear what i was saying <laughs> all right of course we're watching bitcoin because the whole market's following bitcoin and if it's not, it'll show up on the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin versus XRP BTC. All right, that's one pair XRP ETH. Let's go have a look at them now. Okay. I got real bullish on XRP back here when we broke up. We tag green. We pulled back to the buy zone and we tag green again. All right, then we got a bit of bearish divergence. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, we'll just we'll pull back. I will continue. We didn't see that. Okay. 
we just tag red and we pull back. All right, which means we're more than likely going to have a bearish continuation. All right. Now I used to feel terrible about this. Oh, my money's going rah rah. But if I know how to leverage trade short, then I can technically make money and buy some cheap stuff. Okay, so we're probably going to see it come down, at least test the support level again. If it continues past that, then that's not good. No bueno. If support holds and we come back up, well, then we could see a sideways range. What we're all hoping for is to break out, retest, and go up. Okay? But what I'm hoping for and what the market's doing and what the charts are telling me, completely different. All right, so I can't just be like, oh, I want this to happen, so I'm going to bet that. I'm going to play the charts, all right? So, if Bitcoin dominance is going to top out, which it could, it could at this level, which means this support level could hold. And we could at least come back up to the area of value. Now, if we do, we could get smashed by the 50 moving average, by structure level, or by the 200. If we continue to go sideways here, and that's probably most bullish. There's no doubt the bulls will step in here because the bears have had their fun. The bears have had their fun since up here. All right? 30% corrections are common. That was it there. That's when I thought we were done. But we weren't done. All right, we kept coming, we kept coming, we kept coming. 50%. Okay? We got all the warning signs up here. All right? Even on the four hour chart. All right, we're topping out. Made a slightly higher high. Technically had a double top right there. Okay, we had a double top right here. Okay, we even got bearish divergence. Okay, we tag greens, we pull back to the buy zone, but then this is our warning signal. We didn't push up, we actually got rejected by the neckline here. And then we tag red. And we pull back to an area of value, 200 moving average, and then we continued our bearish trend. Okay, so that is likely what we're going to see until we get bullish divergence and we're no longer tagging red okay so the immediate short term I reckon we're gonna have a bounce and then we're gonna sell off now whether we just bounce up 15 sell off down 10 and just go sideways here I don't know we just have to see what holds and what doesn't. Okay, if we break resistance and we retest it as support, well then that'd be great. But either way, there's trades to be made. Okay, if Bitcoin dominance is gonna go bearish right now, which doesn't look like it. <laughs> if that goes bearish, then Bitcoin can go bullish. But if it's going to break out and make a higher high than this, well, then support's probably not going to hold. So we broke down from this falling wedge. We broke down from this structure level. And right now we're in no man's land. Okay, we can come up and probably find resistance we will definitely find resistance whether we break it we're probably not i'm expecting the push back to these levels all right and from there we can reaccumulate do all that play the macro long but right now we're bearish same for ethereum same for xrp so yeah we could get a bounce but don't get full don't get too much opium, not yet. Not yet, not yet. And the way we're going, we're really deep into oversold. Don't 
don't know what will happen next. We just need to wait and see what the indicators say. But this pullback to the resistance area is most likely going to lead to more downside. And whether we just double bottom here or whether we come down and test this area. Okay, guys, that's all for today. The last video was so much better. <laughs> Yeah. Zoom into the four hour here. Yeah, we could see an uptrend right into resistance. Okay, so we might come up a little bit and then fall down. Okay, unless we break above this 50, then we might see some serious bullish price action. But unless we actually tag green, we can expect the bears to maintain control of this trend. All right, that's my analysis. Maybe good, maybe bad, but if you know how to play, you can make money. Okay. <sighs> Making some changes. The website not getting our content out nearly as quick enough. Slow me down a fair bit, so I'm gonna make a Discord. Discord's gonna be awesome. All right, update on that later. But right now, that's all for me. Thanks for watching on the Business Press. Bye.